What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dave Wisniewski. You're watching the Safer Dave Show at saferarizona.com. And full disclosure, there is a fly in this room. So if it flies in front, uh, I already know about it. Don't You don't have to bring it up or anything, so it's going to be fine. But anyways, I got some interesting stuff going on here. Today I was doing my regular activist stuff, and I go on Facebook after a bunch of editing and stuff like that, and I come across this article, uh, and it says, it's got a picture of my face. Uh, right in the middle of Yapavai County prosecuting attorney and Bill Montgomery, Maricopa County prosecuting attorney. Um, my face right in the middle of those two guys' faces. And it says, Arizona spoiler group joins pot prohibitionists in fighting marijuana policy projects, dot, dot, dot. So I click on it and I'm like, what is this all about? Why am I in between these two guys? We're, they're prohibitionists. I'm a cannabis legalization activist. I didn't join anything that they've done. So what's this all about? And I go into it, and it's uh, it's Ray Stern's article talking about how uh, I believe that the MPP's initiative for a marijuana law reform is worse than our current prohibition because it baits and traps cannabis users into serious prison time. And he's getting that point across. So I uh, and that's he's getting the point across that that's what we believe. Uh, many of us AZFMR supporters, Safer Arizona supporters, and I thank you for that for putting out our concerns on your platform. We really do appreciate the message getting put out there, but. I am very upset about something very particular here. Look at that picture. Look at that picture. Look at those lips. That's what I like to call ape face when it's like, you know, normally I've got bigger lips than that. So, you know, next time, please try to get me smiling or at least have a regular picture where it doesn't look like I'm doing an ape. Maybe like this one. So if there's a, if there's a freeze frame, if you do this for another article, get this picture. Or, or like this one. Or just a smile, you know, but that, I don't like that one. Come on, give me, give me a better picture. Well, anyways, um, it says Arizona spoiler group. And the thing I don't like about the term spoiler group is because we're not spoiling anything. The way, um, I feel is if, um, you know, we're saying MPP's initiative is bad and that the people, it's it, Arizona citizens are better off without it and getting real legalization in 2018. Uh, so what I like to compare it to is like saying, Hey, I'm cooking some chicken, right? Some, I just put it to the raw chicken right on the, the skillet and I leave for a second and you walk up and you're like, Oh man, chicken. And it looks, it's a, it's a little bit cooked, you know, just a little bit, just enough to make you think it's cooked more than it really is. And you, you know, you take a little piece out cause you want to do a taste test. And I'm like, Hey, no, that's raw chicken. Don't eat that. And you're like, <laughs> Spoiler, ugh. No, man, no, man. Uh, we're telling you that the devil's in the details and the MPP initiative, just look into it. And this is why we, we've pushed against the Marijuana Policy Project. It says we've joined um, the prohibitionists. Well, we've been pushing back against the Marijuana Policy Project since we filed the AZFMR initiative. I mean, that's the whole point of the AZFMR initiative is to push back against the MPP. So us... You know, pushing back against the MPP, old news, buddy. But anyways, that's an interesting angle. You know, it's not really accurate. You know, we're not joining them just because we agree on a couple things because we both agree. I mean, this is saying that AZFMR, say for Arizona supporters, agree with Sheila Polk and Bill Montgomery. Well, we both believe that the MPP's initiative is bad for Arizona, but for different reasons. They're prohibitionists, we're activists. We want consumer protections, they don't want any legalization at all. Therefore, we're not on the same side. We're on different sides because they oppose what we're trying to do with our initiative also. So it doesn't make sense. But what's going on here is, go, they're, Ray's making a reference to this other article over here um, put out by AZ Central where cops were saying, we're going to, under the MPP initiative, we're going to make more arrests, not fewer. And that's what we're saying. We expect to see an increase in arrests in sales and cultivation. And so the cops are coming out being like, yeah, the way it looks is that's probably going to happen. And Ray Stern's like, that's not going to happen. So going down here, another thing that Bill Montgomery was talking about is, um, um, talks about that it's going to establish uh, a monopoly, and it's more of an oligopoly. I guess that's the proper term, but 
uh, that monopoly oligopoly style thing is something we also agree with them on and how they're not regulating marijuana like alcohol. They're actually regulating marijuana as if it's several times more dangerous than alcohol. So they're agreeing with that. We agree with that. And then, so since we agree that Bill Montgomery agrees that MPP is not regulating marijuana like alcohol, but far more dangerous, all of a sudden we have all these same agreements and we're, we're joining forces with them. Well, you know what? Ray Stern would also agree that the Marijuana Policy Project's initiative is not regulating marijuana like alcohol. So in that context, Ray Stern also agrees with Bill Montgomery and Sheila Polk on that opinion. And you know what? It gets even further. You know, if he's going to pull this angle on me that just because I have a couple of things that I have in common with my beliefs with those people that we're on the same fight, I'm going to give you... 10 things that Ray Stern has in common with prohibitionists Bill Montgomery and Sheila Polk. Starting with number 10, I just mentioned, they would all agree that the MPP is regulating marijuana several times more dangerous than alcohol and is in fact not regulating marijuana like alcohol. Number nine, they would both agree that babies are cute. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't agree that babies are cute? Eight. They both enjoy bananas. Yeah. It's got potassium in them. It helps alleviate cramps. They both like bananas. Number seven, they would agree that a good night's rest is important for good health. Number six, they would agree that the first Matrix was the best in the trilogy. Number five, they would agree tomato, not tomato. Number four, this one's obvious. They would both agree I before E except after C. Number three, they would agree that oil spills are bad. Number two, Ray Stern and Sheila Polk would agree that Tupac ain't coming back. <laughs> Number one, they would agree that Justin Bieber looks kind of like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> So there you have it, Mr. Ray Stern shares these views with prohibitionists. Therefore, he must be working with them. He must be on their team, conspiring against a whole global network of shenanigans and nonsense and all this crazy stuff where prohibitionists and activists are merging forces. Right. Good try, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was Safer Dave with Safer Arizona. Till next time, find out more information at saferarizona.com. Help us free the tree, legalize marijuana in arizona.org. Thank you.